Okay, this is part one of the review of the Odyssey G9 Neo gaming monitor. Uh, I have just started the computer and loaded up the RMD settings. And if I go to display here, it now shows adaptive sync compatible. Before that I had a free sync compatible uh, with my old Samsung monitor, so now it shows me adaptive sync compatible. If I go to display specs, I see the, the, the resolution of course, and I see it has a free sync range of 48 to 120 hertz reported by display. The first thing I want to do now is install the display driver. I have already inserted this CD-ROM that was with the monitor and I suggest we start with this. Oh, Windows 11 is a bit slow when it comes to opening the file explorer. Okay, we have... this is... oh, okay, I think forget it. This is actually a user manual. This is no driver or... Yeah, this is this is only user manual. Okay, I will check ah, installing the software. Okay, I take it all back. Windows driver. Ah, yeah. Okay. We have a Windows driver. You can set up the program and frequency of the project. And download the driver. Okay, do I have a driver on the CD now or what? Samsung One setup. Ah, yeah. Okay, it only wants to remove, so I guess it automatically has uh, Windows 11 has it installed automatically. Okay, so then this is done. Right. Okay, some people wanted to know if the monitor works good in uh, 240 hertz. So let's check how ah, adaptive sync I can enable, of course. Uh, how can I change the, the hertz frequency? Is it here? Advanced display. 120 hertz and 60 hertz. Ah, I guess I have to change the mode on the monitor. Okay, I think I cannot stretch so far. I really have to sit back a lot to capture it. Okay. Refresh rate, here it is. Let's go to 240 hertz. So we get picture again. Ah oh, yeah, we have picture again. And at least it says now that we have 240 hertz. So, okay, I think I will fire up a game and I'll be right back. Well, I guess we can explore the menu together a bit. So here are the sources clear, display port. It's the only one I have connected. Then we have picture-in-picture picture mode or something like that. Also not really interesting right now. Okay, let's start with game. We have refresh rate here. You can change this between these values. Well, I think because FreeSync is on, 60 Hz is off. That's, that makes sense. Then we have uh, response time, which is grayed out right now probably because of the refresh rate or FreeSync. Then we have FreeSync Premium Pro. Low input lag. This is something very interesting because I still love to, to use CIT monitors that have no input lag. And the input lag is the only thing that current monitors still don't have when you compare them to the 20 year old CRTs. The black equalizers here. Ah, is this virtual aim point the little cheetah, cheetah crosshair? I think you can activate this when you 
So you have a crosshair in games that do not want to give you one. That's, I think I never, never used this yet. I think I didn't have a monitor yet that had this. Always oh, it leaves again. What is infinity core light? Turn on or off the LED lighting behind the screen. Ah, yeah, it has some neat uh, lighting behind the screen. Light effect, rainbow. I think I have to kill off the light here, so maybe we can see it. Oh, it's very dim. You can't see it really on the camera yet. I have to show this um, separately so you can see it better. All right. Next, uh, select the best screen and ratio. Screen size is grayed out. Then we have picture mode. Ah, this is uh, FPS, RTS, and so on. RPG, cinema, typical Samsung stuff. I also have on my old monitors from them. Let's leave it at custom for now. Brightness. This monitor is supposed to be super bright. I think 2000 nits was the score I read everywhere. And what is it? HDR 2000 or something like that. So since I prefer to play in the dark, I will probably put the brightness all the way down. But let's increase it and see what happens. Well, it becomes real bright. <laughs> So if you play in a room where the sun is shining on a bright day, you won't have a problem with this one here. With old CRT monitors, that's always a problem. When the room is too bright, you won't see your game anymore. Just the sharpness. Then we have color settings. Ah, I usually like the color warmer. It's better for your eyes. Gamma. Phew. Mode 2 was good on my old Samsung monitor, so let's just start with that. Eye saver mode, we won't use it now, but yeah, horrible picture. Uh, ah yeah, this is um, picture in picture mode. This thing is supposed to give you 2 times 27 inch if you, if you want it that way. This is what we have right now. This is now a 27 inch. And it gives you the chance to add another 27 inch monitor with another signal here right beside. So you can connect two computers on one monitor and see them both, which is a pretty neat feature. Okay, I'll quit the video for a bit to undo this. Okay, we are back in the menu and uh, you can even change the mode type here if you want. Ah, you can make one screen bigger and the other one small. Hey, that, that's nice. You can money, uh, but I think the old G9, G9 had the same already, or, but I, I didn't have the old G9, so I wouldn't know this. Uh, here I are. You can select the sound source. Nice, really nice. Okay, let's turn this off for now. Now it comes back to hopefully to what we had. Uh, nope. Menu. 240 hertz again. FreeSync is on. Okay, next. What do we have? It's on screen display. It's not. Then, ah, this is, this is, this is good. I just tested it once already. And this is the local dimming. This is actually the reason I bought this monitor because I love to have real blacks when I play. And um, this is why I still love to use um, CRT monitors like this one. It has nearly perfect black and today's monitors often, well all of them besides OLED, but there are no OLED monitors yet, they don't have perfect deep blacks because they have um, LED lights that are always on. With local dimming, this is now better. And supposedly this monitor has 2000 dimming zones with mini LED. So now we have to test this. Right, let me, let me, is what? Uh, let me show my screensaver quick. 
and this is here and screensaver is here, preview this is now without uh, local dimming let me kill the lights and as you see this is the lighting, the LED lighting is on on this monitor and is pretty bright and now let's turn on local dimming and see how this changes I hope this is good now local dimming we can select auto, low and high, I think auto is what we what should be good okay it's on now let's do the screensaver again and see what happens wow this is definitely much much better let me put it on yeah the same camera settings almost no no lighting almost um, no it is as good as the CRT monitor I'm used to but I will make a compare video wow this is nice this is one thing I really wanted to have real black again on a computer monitor not only on a OLED television I always hated the light bleed from the other monitors great okay I think this concludes the menu for now be right back okay um, I will now show a comparison between the Odyssey G9 with local dimming activated and my old Samsung FW900 CRT monitor here when the lights are out and after this comparison I will um, I will show a video I made this afternoon before I took my old Samsung monitor from the table also a comparison between the Samsung monitor the C34F791 and the Sony and well Take a look and tell me what you think. Let's see if I will. This is the Odyssey G9. Now we go to the CRT monitor. As you hopefully also can see, the camera brightness is on maximum. And still, the CRT monitor and the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 are total black and this is the first time in my life that I own a LED TFT monitor that is as black as a CRT monitor or a plasma so this is this is pretty good I'm pretty happy with that okay now the next one minute I recorded without speech this afternoon so you can see the difference between an old Samsung monitor that does not have local dimming like this one or mini LED and also the Sony. Okay.